Christians worship their brother. Brother, brother, oh, brother, 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 brother. Oh my God. Oh, the Amen. truth is still coming out. I've been talking about man worshipers in the church. Christians are man worshipers by nature. That all came from Israel. The nation of Israel was in idolatry the moment they asked for a king and they rejected God from being king. God gave us a disaster for our first king. He gave us Saul. And if you was wise, you would know that if the children of Israel would have never asked for a king, we would never have a religion we call Christianity. Right now, today, Saul is still king. Saul was the first king of Israel, and he is still king. Why? Because the Christian church is his. And all of you that are in Christianity are worshiping Paul, okay? He is Satan's messenger. Inside a Christian, you can spell Satan. And all the Christians are in pure idolatry. They are worshiping their brother. God has no mother, he has no brother, he has no sisters. All these things Jesus had, peace be upon him. And the church has been found guilty of making idols out of their prophets. The prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Upon his deathbed, he told us, may Allah's curse be upon the Jews and the Christians. You know why? Because they make churches out of the graves of their prophets. And that's how Christianity started. It started through witchcraft. Just like Saul seeking Samuel to bring him back from the dead. That's exactly what Saul did in the New Testament. He's attempting to bring back the prophet Esau from the dead. And Jesus told us in the parable in Luke 16 that there's a great gulf fixed between us. Even in the Quran, it confirms this. So that those that are on the other side cannot cross over. Jesus gave us that parable, letting us know that the rich man, the man with all the churches, your boy Saul, is in hell. In the Hadiths, it tells us that there's a prison in hell named Bulas, which is Paul in the Arabic tongue. Paul is the man who's guilty of trying his best to bring back the prophet Esau from the dead. This is the leaven of the Pharisees that Jesus warned his disciples about. This is the teaching that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. This is the reason why the children of Israel were told to eat unleavened bread, bread with no yeast, during the killing of the firstborn. So let's get started. Dark, 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 dark. Christianity is like a beast. It's been devouring the people. It has been stamping everything it run across. It has all the money, has all the people, but it has no power. It's nothing but a religious fraud. And I've been exposing that right here in the house of David. I'm going to make it simple for you. Paul is the father of the Christian church. Jesus is the son of the Christian church. It's just that simple. Saul was the father of David. In the New Testament, Saul is the father of the son of David. Now tap somebody on the shoulder and tell them the truth is here. The truth is here. Now, we're going to talk about how the Christians are worshiping their brother. Jesus is your brother. And I'm going to show you that right here in your own Bible. First, let's deal with John 10.30. Jesus said, I and my father are one. Now, when Jesus said, I and my father is one, that had nothing to do with God. This was simply talking about the father and the father of the Christian church who believed that he was an apostle to the Gentiles is your boy Paul. That is in 1 Corinthians 4.15. So when Jesus said, I am my father is one, he is basically saying, look, me and Paul is the same. Now, receive your eyes saw. Open up your eyes. Jesus is not talking about God at all. He's speaking in a mystery, and he's uttering secrets that's been kept since the foundation of the world. Now, go to John 8.27. It says, they understood not that he spake to them of the father now remember in john 5 they said that he made god his father so who is this mystery father this father is seen 
Once again, in 1 Corinthians 4.15, it tells you that though you have many tutors, many instructors, you have only one father. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Now that is what Paul said. The mystery that's been kept before the foundations of the world right now is being uttered. And that is Paul is the father of the Christian church. When Jesus said, I am my father is one, he was talking about Paul. When Jesus said, he that have seen me have seen the father, he's talking about his twin. He's talking about Paul. When Jesus said, before Abraham was I am, he was speaking of Paul. Why did he bring up Abraham? Because Paul is the false Abraham. It was all because of Paul. Seeing his father's nakedness, that Canaan or the prophet Esau had to be a servant to his brothers. And this is the reason why Jesus was so mad at the Pharisees. He told you in John 8 40, you seek to kill me because I'm a man that has told you the truth. Why was the Pharisees trying to kill him? Because the Pharisees was a picture of Paul. Paul has been seeking to kill the prophet Isa on biblical record. And that's why Paul was always talking about Jesus Christ being crucified. He talked about Jesus being crucified more than anybody. He was a picture of the old King Saul trying his best to kill baby David. Now think about Joseph. Joseph was stolen out of the land of the Hebrews and was forced to serve in Egypt, another nation. Jesus was stolen from one religion and was forced to serve in another. Jesus was destined to be the Messiah in Islam, but he was stolen by the thief. Paul stole him and forced him to serve bondage. And that is Christianity, okay? That's exactly what Paul did. He is the thief. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. You see, Saul saw Jesus in Islam and stole him. Just like Saul saw Islam and cursed it in Galatians 1 and 8. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus is your brother. Jesus is a servant to his brothers. He is nothing more than a messenger. And the Christians are guilty of worshiping him. Now let's get these scriptures. Let's start off with Matthew. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren. He is still calling them brothers after his so-called resurrection. Now let's go to John 20 and 17. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not. For I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren. There you go. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. He is still calling them brothers. And then watch this. And say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father. Now that's a metaphor. Watch this. And to my God and to your God. So now Jesus has the same God as Mary. But the Christians want to call Jesus God. Oh How is God. Jesus God if he has a God? How is Jesus God when he has a mother? How is Jesus God when he has a brother? How is Jesus God when he has a sister? How is Jesus God when he got hungry? How is Jesus God when he cried? How is Jesus God when he is the son of man? The church has been duped. They had the wool pulled over their eyes. And this is courtesy of Paul. And the white race has been teaching that Jesus is God. 99% of the false teaching we have in Christianity came from the nation of Eden. Now, I'm not racist, but I'm not ashamed to tell the truth and to shame the devil. God is a God. God is not a prophet. God is not a messenger. God is not a disciple. God is a God, and that's all God is. He sends messengers. He sends prophets. He sends apostles. So you know for a fact that Jesus definitely is no God. God gave you the Gospels, and you still cannot see. 
Right here we just read that he has the same God as Mary. That he still calls his church brothers. And you want to worship your brother. You know why? Because you a man worshiper. Okay? That's what you do. Let's go to Mark 3, 33. And he answered them saying, Who is my mother or my brother? brother, 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 brother. Jesus is your brother. Why are you worshiping him? He never told you to worship him. He is your brother. He's not your father. When Jesus said, I am my father is one, that does not mean he's God. Jesus also said that we all are one. That does not mean God. It's not even talking about God. It's talking about Paul. Okay. It was a parable. It wasn't meant for you to take it literally. Allah has no sons anyway. That's why he has you in his trick bag right here in these gospels, okay? Paul is your daddy. That's who your daddy is. Your dad is Paul. And that's the real truth. According to the gospels, Paul is the father. That's why he has many sons, Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Onesimus. You're worshiping your brother. You are associating partners with the Most High. You are taking lords in addition to him. And the Christians are guilty of worshiping their own brother. I have to harp on that. I have to drive this truth home. This is the real truth that your church don't want to talk about. They are guilty of worshiping the creation more than the creator. Right now you should repent. The Bible says verbatim, God is not a man. The Bible says verbatim, Jesus is a man. There's no scripture that says Jesus is God. There's no such scripture. Right now, you should repent. Just repent. Allah is merciful. He is entirely merciful. He is especially merciful. I encourage you right now. I beg you to repent for your idolatry. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth. True, 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 true,